Nursing union Donosa is calling for better protection for healthcare workers. It follows the shooting at the new Somerset Hospital. Two patients and a police officer died in the incident. The union also wants counselling for all staff members involved. For more on this, we're joined by Eleanor Roberts, Donosa's Western Cape Provincial Chairperson. She joins us now virtually. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Roberts, for your time. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this nurse, this hero, who was uh, able to subdue the suspect uh, to a point where he handed his gun over to her. Good day. Um, thank you, and thank you. For, uh, good, good afternoon to the viewers. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, we wish to allude the nurse that was there in this time of turmoil when, as to what happened in Somerset Hospital um, when she intervened into the incident that happened on the respective day. And um, she was one of our men from our nurses there who came during a, a soil the scuffle and came to intervene to assist. So much so that um, she got the, the perpetrator to, um, to, 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 to leave the gun and stop the, the incident from going further after, after um, speaking to the, uh, convincing the perpetrator. And we, as the NOSA, we say this, we call her a hero. Mm. How is she doing right now? I see that in your statement you're asking that she be given some time off to deal with the possible emotional trauma from that incident on Saturday evening. So do you know how she's doing? From our side, um, we've learned that subsequently she is being counseled because obviously to go through a traumatic incident like that, it is not proper in any work situation so as it now she she has undergone the trauma counseling mm -hmm. however they she she is do feel a little bit better but i mean that is just for now we don't know what might happen at a later time because post-traumatic stress disorder does not happen only now it might get you at a later time so there will be this continuous counseling from the department of health Mm. And this is not the first time we're hearing of an incident like this, right, Ms. Roberts? I mean, uh, for instance, in Gauteng, we've had clinics where uh, a, suspect, uh, would, uh, a suspect would be uh, killed um, after being kept at the hospital when uh, initially they couldn't kill him or her. So this is obviously something that recurs in our public ho hospitals. So I'm just wondering overall, what, is, what are you saying to government in terms of the safety of healthcare workers in our hospitals? Yes, thank you for that important question. As the notes, so we say to our government that we need to check up our our safety and security at hospitals, especially in this time, referring to this incident with, re with regards to police and um, wardens that enters the police uh, into our institutions because it is a service pistol, but as the NOSA, we say we want a gun-free um, society in, in hospitals and health institutions. So we are not happy as to what it happened. So what we can suggest is to, to promote policies on gun-free uh, institutions and police must train the, the officers and the uh, correctional services must train the officers what to happen in terms of when they are being um, from uh, uh, when they are being apprehended by by whether it's a patient or a staff with with regards to their pistol to to their service pistol, so mm -hmm. they they must be training on that issue, and then also the police in itself or, or correctional services should take accountability for future incidents that might happen as to this so that, that this be prevented at further. It is quite unfortunate that it happened at Gauteng and now at Western Cape and this is basically that is coming to the fore that the, our policies must also be reviewed in terms of our health and safety and promoting gun-free societies in the health institutions in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And how is the relationship between the health department, for instance, and correctional services when it comes to things like this? I mean, I know that everybody has, uh, you know, the rights to uh, quality health care and access to that. And that is why you cannot, uh, you know, uh, turn away a prisoner. And that's why the police officers are there to uh, make sure that they're guarding. So how is the relationship between the health department and correctional services when it comes to cases like that? 
the relationship we do have a relationship with the with what we call correctional services with the south african police service as organizations we unfortunately we have to work together so there is a relationship that is amongst us but in terms of that it's just a matter of 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 collaboration, especially on policies and procedures regarding this as to how can we improve our service to, towards our clients, whether it's and, and, and give quality services to our clients, whether it's a prisoner or whether it's a normal patient. So our policies need to improve and we, we, we after this we have to speak and cover, collaborate as to how we can improve in fact that um, relationship via our influencing our policies and come together amongst one another so that we can talk on mm. the issue as to as to how we move forward thank all you all right well thank you very much for your time here on all angles that is of course eleanor roberts she is uh, the provincial chairperson of denosa